Having looked at uh, the command line interface that is OCI CLI and having looked at the SDK kit, let's look at uh, the Terraform. So uh, the CLI is on the command line. Of course, the SDK, you can use it with various programming languages, um, be it um, uh, Python, PLSQL and many more towards provisioning of um, the resources on the Oracle Cloud. Let's look at uh, the much more standardized one, which is Terraform. Terraform is, of course, a, a third party tool. It's also a, um, uh, th not only third party tool, it's also a kind of a very versatile tool uh, which is used across all the all the platform be it AWS or be it uh, Google or be it uh, Azure as well as OCI. The syntax is going to be same so it is used in as a kind of a DevOps tool to manage multi-cloud. Multi-cloud is very common these days. The reason being like some of the features might be uh, which suits and organizations are available in one particular platform. Maybe Google. Google um, has Airflow which is called a composer has a Airflow which is which is a kind of a, a workflow automation tool um, or task automation tool and similarly Oracle of course the database uh, Oracle database is strong we have autonomous database so organization will always try to have uh, multiple flavors or multiple uh, cloud platform and then probably they will have to look at uh, the tools which they can use uniquely because Terraform syntax is going to be same across all the platform they would use Terraform rather than go getting into some other uh, proprietary tool of that uh, uh, cloud service provider. So let's look at what is Terraform. So Terraform, of course, we look at Terraform and then get into the example. So what is Terraform? Terraform is infrastructure as a code called IAS, IAC rather, and used as a DevOps tool. So naturally, DevOps is you need to quickly provision across uh, different cloud environment be it even if it is single cloud environment you need to provision quickly um, accurately and very fast then you would be using a DevOps tool instead of doing it manually so point to notice it's an infrastructure as a code called as uh, popularly known as IAC the next one is provisioning of various cloud resources for instance is one of the main use case of Terraform provisioning of various cloud resources it could be compartment it could be instance it could be database and so many things those are called resources or even subnet those could be provisioned yes or you can do it manually but what if if you want to provision uh, maybe um, maybe 10 instances at the same point of time instead of doing it manually you can do it with uh, Terraform Ten at a different, um, I mean, instances at one particular time. When you create instances, you need to have um, the uh, VCNs. Um, you need to have different shapes. Probably, if there are different shapes, you need to choose this shape. So all this manual process may take uh, maybe a couple of days time uh, to do it manually. If you require uh, ten instances of uh, instances, I mean, the virtual compute instances may take a day or two. Instead, you could, one could use a Terraform to do it uh, um, a fraction of a time, maybe about um, an hour's time, they could do it with Terraform. So provisioning of cloud resource, it is cloud agnostic, open source provisioning tool written in Go language and created by HP Corp. And they have it for all the popular, not just for OCI, they have it for all, uh, it can be installed in all the popular, um, It, I mean, it interact, could interact with all the cloud platform, be it AWS, Google, Azure, OCI, uh, even few others as well, they could, uh, could be used. Uh, as I said, Terraform is to facilitate multi-cloud 
uh, deployment use the same syntax syntax will be the same so once you become um, I mean well known with Terraform it's much more easy to um, do it in any across any of the platforms um, I mean cloud platforms so Terraform is used for deploying managing orchestrating uh, resources with cloud providers and uh, if you look at the workflow so now we know that uh, the importance of using terraform let's look at the workflow um, how you need to do it um, the first one is uh, initialize you need to have appropriate uh, code units um, uh, that is called um, the tf file declare infrastructure as a co uh, resource as a code using uh, hashcorp configuration language so you need to initialize then plan terraform will display it plans to either add remove resources uh, predicated upon the comparison of your deployed infrastructure and the current state of existing source suppose if you want to add any compartment you need to have uh, appropriate um, code resource code created so it will compare initially it will get into the uh, your um, cloud and find out whether it is available or not if not it's going to add it um, so that is what planning is going to do and finally you got to accept it finally you have accepted plan changes to add more resources you are, will then be ready to deploy with the help of terraform so these three things are to be done initialize plan apply but of course you need to perform steps uh, need to install terraform do some configuration make it ready before um, uh, working with terraform so these are the steps you need this again the same command terraform in it terraform plan terraform apply that is what uh, it will apply and finally terraform uh, deploy uh, destroy sorry if, if you want to destroy you can destroy as well so this is about about an overview as why at all the terraform is required and what are the drawbacks if you are using um, cli or sdk um, because being uh, universally used across multi-cloud platform terraform uh, is preferred more these days there are other tools like ansible as well as there um, terraform has little more uh, flexibility as well that's what I have seen much more uh, easier uh, to learn than Ansible but uh, there are different views um, between various consultants and as, uh, uh, which is uh, much more versatile so what we'll do is we'll also look at the demonstration as how this can be done on Oracle cloud infrastructure stay tuned thank you earlier we saw how um, you can invoke terraform that is infrastructure as a code in the command line that is uh, oci cli on the command line but in oracle cloud they have a concept of uh, stacks in the uh, under a resource manager it's more of a gui version so it doesn't really require a terraform to be installed so it's provided as a terraform as a service so you don't need to bother about the installation of terraform so you can um, invoke the stack and it will perform the task of uh, what it needs to um, perform in terraform actually instead of uh, cli you can do that uh, with the gui itself but of course you need to have the necessary configuration files in place so uh, we'll take an example and see how it works so before that it has much more flexibility also like if you see um, all this configuration unit can be either you can provide as a zip file or it could be a template and uh, it could be from github or it could be a, a folder bucket folder uh, in the cloud itself so you can always have options over here all these options is quite complicated if you are doing on the command line where in the command line it is uh, more of you providing the configuration files whereas uh, with the uh, oracle cloud with the stack you have these options various options are there 
so that way it becomes very handy and neat so ap apart from that once you give that uh, configure the stack over here the rest of it is similar to what you do in the terraform so that's why it's called a terraform as a service no i mean uh, it doesn't require you to install uh, or you to perform the actual setups so once you ha have it as a stack then you plan apply and provision that way uh, it becomes um, very easy uh, for you as well so let's now get into the how to navigate into the stack we'll see that so i've uh, into my um, console and over here uh, get into the uh, developer service under resource manager you have overview and stack so uh, if you want to go through the overview it has all the uh, details uh, for towards if you want to do a kind of a self-learning uh, getting started tutorials you can do that then if you want to uh, actually try out something get to the stack and um, here as well you can create a stack it's a terraform configuration that is used to provision manage resources to provision the resources define the stack and apply the configuration so it's more of a terraform as a service so create stack and that is where you get different options my configuration you need to upload uh, if you want to your own configuration as a zip file or from a folder or from a bucket uh, you could do or from a template there are various templates as well different forms of te template quick start uh, you have uh, various um, options uh, and then as a service you have options subnet default data sign compute instant block volume autonomous transaction uh, database all these are possible as well so um, and once you select the appropriate uh, template uh, say for example if you're doing it as autonomous service then you need to give some details uh, over here um, configuration detail and then uh, you got to first plan and uh, apply so what we will do is we uh, we tried creating um, a compartment through um, the command line after we had installed the terraform here with the console also what we will try to do is we will try to create because that's a simplest uh, example where you can do it um, quickly uh, creation of compartment uh, particularly if you are on free tire you will not be uh, wasting any of the resources just towards learning and after learning of course uh, you can't become an expert you need to try doing various options that is where you become uh, and really an expert so what we'll do is we'll just uh, try to create a compartment with the same file the compartment.tf file just modify the name of the file i mean the compartment name and see what happens uh, uh, submit this code unit um, to the um, uh, create a stack uh, um, submit this code unit uh, over over here i mean in the stack and uh, then first make a plan and then finally apply and see what happens whether the compartment gets created or not we will see that uh, taking as an example so stay tuned for the next presentation thank you so uh, what we are going to do is that uh, we will use the compartment creation uh, instead of uh, doing it in the CLI uh, what we will do is uh, through the stack uh, we will give this file um, for compartment creation so the point to note here is uh, just like the last example just to identify uh, whether the compartment is created by the stack I just uh, change the name instead of terraform compartment uh, I made it as uh, just terraform stack that is uh, denoting a stack um, colon uh, the compartment hyphen the compartment so terraform star compartment just to identify and this file is going to be provided to the stack so that 
uh, we can plan and then apply and see what happens the steps will be the same only thing is this through the GUI and as I said it's not going it's uh, the requirement of uh, uh, installing the um, the terraform into the instance um, instance this in the in the virtual machine and then having the uh, appropriate api to uh, communicate with the uh, cloud that is that part is not required at all so you can use the stack directly to provision uh, the whether it is instance or any any of the resources be it instance or be it a block volume be it a database all these resources can be provisioned uh, through the um, cloud console itself through the stack option so what i'm going to do is uh, i have um, just made this modification alone uh, made this modification and we'll submit uh, the file and uh, check whether the compartments gets created so here i am so we just have the terraform compartment which was earlier created as a part of uh, the cli um, command line interface and we ran uh, the terraform commands and this got created uh, and now uh, we will get into the developer service stack and uh, over here i'll say create stack and I'll say my configuration only thing is I have to um, enable zip I made it a zip file of the changes and um, I got to I got to choose this file which I made the changes uh, because I need to give it as a zip file is what I have to give it so I say open compartment zip um, even the name is optional so I leave it as such and I want to do it in the uh, root uh, is what I have to do so this all uh, looks fine my configuration compartment zip and uh, say next so uh, next so I don't want any of the things so I say create over here and now first is I have to do a plan plan you see plan so it is accepted so this takes um, some time uh, for the it creates the job uh, I mean just like the workflow uh, first is plan job gets applied and you will get a, a script details as what it is going to perform so it said initialization uh, and over here uh, plan one to add just like what we did in the uh, CLI when you run the terraform plan one to add and zero to change and zero to destroy it. so um, so this has succeeded it has succeeded so this is what it is going to do it has uh, succeeded as per the plan and now uh, what we will do is uh, if you want yeah you can download the same log um, and um, just verify whatever so its status is succeeded we are fine and now uh, we'll get into the stack the plan has succeeded the next one is uh, we will uh, apply it and uh, see what happens whether uh, the compartment uh, gets created um, so we have applied so this also takes a um, few um, minutes and then you will have the log details as whether um, it has uh, succeeded or not just like what we saw um, in the command line you will get an output so the apply is complete now 
one resource added, zero chained or zero destroyed. So now uh, we will see the name of the compartment is also, it says Terraform star compartment. So that is, uh, should have been already created. So what we'll do is we'll check in the front end, uh, get into the uh, identity security and uh, yeah, compartments. And uh, there uh, we have to have, yeah, so we earlier this was created, um, I mean initially when we ran the CLI and this is through the stack uh, initially we planned and then we applied. So it is Terraform as a service. So we are able to successfully create a compartment that is uh, Terraform star compartment is created, um, I mean this resource is created. So this is a Terraform as a service. So earlier we saw as a um, command line command where we installed and then we configured and finally we planned and uh, we created a configuration file and then we planned and then we applied. Whereas with the stack which is um, through the cloud, the Oracle Cloud Console, we just um, had this file uh, submitted in the stack and then the stack uh, we then we planned and applied and that created the compartment. So I think that's a, just a basic example. So you can, there could be in the regular uh, work, um, there could be much more complex requirement. Of course, whenever you have a complex requirement, it requires time and effort, time and effort to analyze the requirement and then have the appropriate uh, configuration files, variable files, and then submit it into the, as a stack uh, towards provisioning uh, the resources. So as a, I mean, as an organization or as a developer, you have the options or you have the choice as which way you want to go. You want to do it through the command line or through, um, or through um, the uh, stack option through the cloud console. The option is yours to choose. So I hope uh, you found this presentation useful. Thanks for watching.